Welcome to another Tepestorm Meta Snapshot Breakdown. The recent balance changes have drastically altered the meta, removing some archetypes from the tier list entirely. Despite repeated buffs, Control Warrior continues to struggle. But to the surprise of many, another warrior archetype has snuck its way into the top two tiers. Let's take a look. Frost Death Knight and Outcast Demon Hunter dominate the meta. The latter's outcast cards enable a lot of synergies, making for a very straightforward, aggressive, bursty playstyle. The former, a recent rising star from Tier 3, hasn't quite found an agreed-upon build yet. Some players opt for three frost runes, others a combination of frost runes with a single blood or unholy rune. Tier 2 is a bit more complex, featuring Relic Demon Hunter in the top spot. With Relic Vault, Relic of Dimensions, and other Relic-centric cards, players draw and discount a massive number of cards to enable crazy combos. And speaking of crazy combos, Miracle Rogue clocks in at number 2 in the second tier. The deck's explosive turns out of nowhere give it a win condition in most matchups. Finally, the third deck in the penultimate tier is one that no one saw coming. Enrage Warrior. This deck is the biggest winner from the latest balance patch, moving up from former Tier 4 Languish to Tier 2 Prestige. Finding success on the back of nerfs to spell Demon Hunter, Enrage Warrior uses self-damaging effects to buff its minions and snowball the board. We hope you enjoy this look at the standard meta. Thanks as always for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more meta snapshot breakdowns. Best of luck climbing, and we'll see you next time.